In times gone by, if someone had an accident, they'd pick themselves up and carry on about their business. Nowadays, it seems everyone is looking for a compensation case. Of course, there are still plenty of people who won't try to blame anyone else, but if that should happen, it's best to be prepared. As the saying goes, prevention is better than cure. So have a look at how to reduce the risk of accidents rather than waiting for them to happen. You can find a checklist on our website that runs through all the preventative measures you can take. During the cold and wet months, keep an eye out for slippery leaves, snow or ice and have them cleared as soon as possible. Display warning signs, have a handrail fitted or redirect travel routes. It's a good idea to regularly check that your footpaths are even and that grass is kept short in case of concealed curbs or gravestones. Inside the church, keep an eye out for trip hazards on the floor. This could be anything from water spills on smooth floors to loose rugs or carpet edges. Ensure that floors are dry and not overly polished. Keep carpet edges fixed down and don't have loose cables running anywhere without protective coverings. If your church has accessible areas such as balconies and stairs, you will need to provide adequate warning signs should there be uneven or worn steps. Generally speaking, stairways should be maintained to a safe standard and it's a good idea to provide both lighting and a handrail. Balconies should have sufficient rails that are securely fixed to prevent anyone from falling. Some areas in churches may be unsafe, particularly in older buildings. Access to these areas must be prohibited and risk assessments performed before undertaking any repair work. Accidents can happen at any time, so preparing well and having a common sense approach will minimise the risk of liability. For further information or to download a copy of our Slips, Trips and Falls checklist, please visit the Ecclesiastical Church Matters website.